Good morning. So it's Friday morning finally, and um, I'm just getting ready for work, and I have to give two of my kitties some medicine. So that's what I'm doing right now. I always hide it. It's kind of hard. They always jump up when I'm trying to do this because they know they know what's happening. But I just, um, I give it to them in a little bit of tuna, like a little scoop of tuna to hide the medicine so they don't know because, you know, I actually have to open the capsule. So right now, oh, Chipper, hi, can you get down? On this stuff called Zilkine, which is a natural uh, supplement that's supposed to calm them down. I'm not giving that to them. That would get stuck in my throat, okay? So I just open up the capsule and put it in their food like a little bit of hocus pocus. Okay, see? Who next? Thor! <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I mix it in so that they don't taste it. They'll never know it's in there. This does not look like tuna. Oh my goodness. Can you hear me yelling? Yeah, it says tuna on it, okay. And then they also have pill medication. So I have a pill splitter here. The tablets are absolutely tiny. But you know. Tuesday normally comes up here. Yeah, he approves. And then there's Thor. One last thing before we go, we always spray down our house with Jackson Galaxy's Peacemaker Spirit Essences because you never know. Maybe you wanna cover your food, oops. You know, I always spray down these chairs and then this stool because they like to fight over it. And then this. And then, for extra safety, we spray uh, Feelyway pheromones. I spray them on this thing again. And this thing. And my couch, because they usually lay there. And this little chair. And finally, TV. We leave it on the classical channel for them because apparently it calms them down and I know for a fact it calms Chipper down because he just melts when I put it on but we leave it on. Uh, there's a channel on here called Classical Calm. 756. Good one, Bob. So yeah. That's what we do when we're getting ready to leave in the morning. So it's Friday, yay. See you in a bit. So I'm done work now and it's Friday and I'm so excited. I'm not feeling very good right now. My chest hurts really bad. So I might end up going to the doctors tomorrow, but uh, I just want to tell you that tonight I'm making tofu for supper and Terry has no idea So Wish me luck because he doesn't like tofu and I've actually never cooked with tofu. So um, I'll keep you updated on that one because he's I wouldn't say he's a picky eater. Okay. Yeah, he's a picky eater. He'll he, he won't say he is a picky eater, but he definitely is a picky eater but uh Sorry, somebody came. I literally am so embarrassed to like vlog in public. I better get over that if uh, if I'm gonna learn. I just wanted to show you this here for a second. 
Tim Hortons is having a casting call for anyone that wants to be in a commercial and you just like have to memorize this little line and then submit it in. I'm totally not doing that. It's so scary. But there's a couple of people at my work that actually want to do it and uh, it would just be, it would be so cool if like one of them got on there and like I got to see them on TV, which is awesome. But anyway, I'm waiting for Terry. He should be here in like 15 minutes. Then we got to go to um, the grocery store so I can get my tofu. <laughs> Some tofu. And then uh, go home and try it out. So, uh, yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> work it, work it, work it. <laughs> oh, come on, geez. John, come on. Come on, yeah, let's go. Uh, two on the spot the there, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fail. It was Look how ready he is in the cheeks. It's a camera. real? Hi. Hi, yeah. Canada. <laughs> Hi, Canada. I'm name. <laughs> that's what it says on there. Hi, Canada. I'm name. And that's what he was saying. I'm like, we got some work to do. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. So this is, if you come famous, this is my like, un this is my raw footage of you. I knew him back then. <laughs> Said I'm doing commercials for Tim Hortons as a living. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm Sean from location. Saskatoon. 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 Come on, you need more pizzazz. You need to convince <laughs> me to buy it. I don't even like jalapenos. You better convince me to buy that. I haven't even tasted a jalapeno before. Well, you're going to have to eat a lot of them if you get this commercial deal. I'm going to have to actually have the sandwich first. Yeah, you probably get to try like the one that they put in the commercial that doesn't is not actually edible. Yeah. <laughs> it's like made of cardboard. Because <laughs> you know in the commercials how they always get that money shot of someone like taking a bite of something like, <laughs> and it's not even real. Yeah, that's gonna be you. <laughs> no off camera. I'm not like one of those uh, retractable burgers that just snaps. <laughs> Say hi! Hey, Thor! You know, you're my guy. You'll be bae. Tuesday, stop terrorizing Thor. It's very mean. It's very mean. We'll cut your nails. Okay, I need your pee. Okay, so, we're just leaving the grocery store now, and Terry found out what's for supper tonight. But, he said he'll try it. So, we'll see. But right now, as we're leaving the grocery store, there's a thunderstorm starting, and we're worried because Chipper's scared of thunder. Poor baby. But we work in Saskatoon, but we live in a city called Martinsville, so sometimes like it doesn't make it there in time, or it doesn't, like, it's like, already passed by the you know like you know what I mean like the weather can be different in both spots so yeah I hope we can beat the weather home because I hate getting rained on I'm a wuss um but yeah anyway I picked up these snacks at the grocery store I found them there crunchy roasted chickpeas and I love chickpeas I make my own hummus all the time and I try roasting my own chickpeas from time to time. They don't always work out, but I decided to try these. They were expensive. They were like $5. But these ones are sea salt and lime. So let's just have a first impression. Do you want to try some? <laughs> I have hand sanitizer. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, they smell like peanuts. Oh, and I bought another flavor too, which is in the back. So I don't have it on me, but it's um, sea salt and balsamic vinegar. No, balsamic vinegar and black pepper. I love balsamic vinegar. Not a fan of pepper, but. Wanna try? Oh, you have gum. Okay, so it tastes like soap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely getting some soap. Oh my god. Do you want some soap nuts? Not after that, no. Oh, okay. Well, it tastes like soap. Not even gonna lie. I will 
delete them because they were, <laughs> they were five dollars <laughs> for this bag. <laughs> but they definitely 100% taste like soap. Okay, let me just try one on its own. I'm seriously getting soap. You sure you don't want to try one to tell me if they taste like soap? <laughs> Here. I just gotta try one. Okay, well, you're not gonna get the flavor from just one. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to taste the lime. Once the soap... <laughs> once the soap flavor goes away... Once the soap dissolves? Once the soap washes... Just do four. Oh. Two. I'm working... I'm wearing my work uniform right now. soap? Like laundry soap? Kinda. See? In the form of sawdust. Let's see, chew on it a couple times. Yeah, the texture is definitely like dry. There you go. You only ate one anyway? Yeah. You didn't even eat the one with all the flavor on it. <laughs> I'm like, ew, yeah, they totally taste like soap. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm eating them, but once you get past the soap flavor, One. You can't get flavor from one. You should though for five dollars. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> okay. Bye, We're gonna try and make a home now so that I can start dinner. Um yeah, so I'll see you at home. Okay, so we're home now and we beat the rain. It is hot out here and muggy today, but um, I wanted to film what it's like to walk into the house after work because the cats are like, yeah, they go crazy. So I'm just going to flip my camera. So let's film what it's like when we walk in the house. Sorry, we have groceries right now, so it's kind of awkward. Hello? Every day. Yeah, down here. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then Always. Kitten's there. Every day, Kitten's standing there. <laughs> Thor's at the top of the stairs. Tuesday's by our feet. And Thor, or Chipper, is down at the bottom of the stairs looking up. Hi, sweeties! How you feeling? How's my babies? I just heard Tuesday attacking Thor. Again. Let me see if Tuesday does anything. Nope. Alright. Hello. Coco. Hello. Hello. And is Chipper in the litter? As soon as we get home after work, he goes right into the litter box. That's yeah, so home now. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, how you feeling? How you feeling? So yeah, I'm gonna cook supper now. Well, get changed out of this uniform. And then I'm gonna cook supper and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm here making my tofu. I've never actually cooked tofu before. So let's just give this a try. Oh, it cuts easy. Okay, so I guess what you have, oh no, it's breaking. Oh, this stuff is delicate, I guess. The dish that I'm making tonight is called sizzling tofu, actually. <laughs> Filipinos <laughs> have such interesting names for their, uh, for their dishes. Um, I work with a lot of Filipinos and so I've gotten to learn so much about their culture and and them and their language and, and my favorite part, which is their food. And um, I've, 
I've gotten to try new things that I would normally have never tried and um, and I actually love their food like I'm obsessed with their food like they're very sharing and caring with like I know that in every culture it says um, food is love like that's how we show love but they really that is how they show love like that's the way they show you they care for you is by cooking for you yeah, that's great. And, uh, my cutting board is not going to be big enough for all this tofu. I bought two tofu bricks because I wasn't sure, like, how much I needed. So, the other day, um, one of my coworkers brought this in, and he gave it to my manager to try. And, um, it's really, well, you know, it is, like, the real dish is actually really spicy. She said, oh, you need to try this. Like, my manager said it. She goes, you need to try this. And I was like, is it spicy? I always ask that. That's the first question I always ask because I just, I can't handle spice. And uh, she's like, oh yeah, it is. Never mind, right? And then so I was like, oh, that sucks. Okay. And then literally she would not give it up. She was like, no, seriously, you need to come try this. You need to come try this. I was like, I can't, I can't handle spice. She's like, can you just, can you just try? So I was like, fine, whatever. So I finally went in and I was like, okay, let me try. And it looked like chicken like chunks of chicken in like a sauce and <laughs> wow that was a clean thing Tuesday oh, I'm gonna try cutting it like all together instead of being like I wasn't expecting it to be so soft oh yeah that's a lot easier so I just tried like this little bite of what I thought was chicken and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It was not so spicy, but then when I had the second piece, it was spicy. So I went and I asked um, the guy, his name is Jomel, how he made it and he explained it to me. And then he explained that it was tofu and I was like, tofu? I seriously thought it was chicken. Like it had the texture of chicken. So he told me how to make it and I also got the name of the recipe so that I could look it up online because it's not that he didn't give me a good recipe it's that I just literally got like the ingredients I didn't get the amount so I'm just gonna make make it according to the recipe the only difference between what he told me and um, the recipe that I found is that the recipe calls for garlic and he didn't tell me to put garlic in but I always default towards garlic because I love garlic so and uh, onions. So anyway, I'm just like frying up my... Are you supposed to season tofu? Like, I can't see why not, right? Because it's not flavored. Maybe I should season it. Maybe I'll wait a minute. Oh my goodness. That would be... That's Tuesday. That's how he treats Thor. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, let's quickly explain um, this recipe. It's basically tofu and uh, onions and peppers, like bell peppers. And then it's in like a sauce that actually, it sounds weird, but it's um, oyster sauce and mayo. And I think that might even be it, just oyster sauce and mayo. But it's amazing, it's so good. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, when I'm done, I'll give you the verdict. And uh, yeah, see you later. Okay guys, here it is. So it's tofu, peppers, bell peppers, onions and garlic mixed in this spicy sauce. And I have my rice over here. Jasmine rice. So yeah, we're gonna eat dinner now. I'll be back with the verdict. <laughs> so we're eating now and Terry hasn't had his yet, but I've had mine and it's good. Okay, I'm not a Filipino, if you haven't noticed. And I don't have, oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze. If that's um, I don't have Filipino skills. So this is good. It doesn't taste exactly like his. I feel like maybe I should have put more, um, maybe more sauce. I don't know. But anyway, I love mine. I'm eating mine right now. But 
I'm going to get Terry's first impression. No pressure. Mm. It doesn't have to be like, oh my god, this is amazing. All I'm asking for is that it's not, oh my god, this is disgusting. Because I was so excited to make this. And at the end of the day, it is healthy. Well, healthy-ish. <laughs> I put a little bit too much hot sauce, I think. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Good flavor. Just tofu is always so squishy. I tried to fry it so it's crunchy. I don't know. I'm just saying it's, it's tofu though. That's the way it is. Well, I like it. Good Tomorrow I'm making uh, another Filipino dish called Bicol Express and it's uh, a native dish to actually one of my co-workers. Her name's Minda. Hi Minda! And uh, oh my goodness Tuesday's on the stove. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try and make that tomorrow. So anyway I think that's it for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna be doing much but Thanks for coming on this journey with me today, and I hope you liked it, and I hope it wasn't too boring, and uh, whatever. Yay, it's Friday. Anyway, tomorrow I'm getting these hair cut, so that was not attractive. So yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.